In this video, we're going to do it again, talking about 10 new Redbubble trends with low competition. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you'd like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right here. So in this video, we're going to do it again. 10 more Redbubble trends with low competition. I've also added tags to this video. So just like last week, we have tags on there. Got some graphics for you from the internet. So you're going to want to stay to the end for this so you can see all 10 trends, all 10 idea boards, as well as the list of all 10 together so that you can take a snapshot and use it as your to-do list for this week. And of course, another edition of trend credit. So a lot to get to in this video. So let's get started. So the first trend here is New Jersey, just another way to say New Jersey. Only 316 results, so very low competition here. And the thing I like about this one is look at all the tags up here. So if you're not sure what tags to use, I'm going to put tags in my idea board, but some of these may work for you as well. So don't forget about these. I didn't put all of these in my tags. I'm only put 15. So use 15 relevant tags. Now you can see there's different ways to do this. Uh, you could use you know, the outline of New Jersey, you can spell out jurors, um, lots of cool, cool ways to do this. Uh, think of your own way to do this. It's great on t-shirts and masks and stickers, I think will do really well for this one. So different things you can put in New Jersey as well, you know, American flag, that kind of thing. So here's my idea board for New Jersey. Uh, here are the 15 product tags that I would use. Of course, there's lots more product tags that we saw on that page that we just came from. Use the tags that are most relevant to your design. Don't just use uh, these just because I said so. If they match your design or if there's something missing, if you're using like a galaxy background, of course, put that in there. You know, if it's using a cityscape, then put cityscape in here. But uh, think about things that would match your design. So other ideas I think you could do besides just the outline of the state is the outline of the city, you know, Jersey cityscapes, whatever. I put some designs here state outlines this is the state outline but you could use other state outlines so once you did new jersey and you feel comfortable with that and you have a nice background maybe an american flag background or uh, you know some other color background you could use it on other states i think that would be great um, jersey sayings uh, i don't have any but i'm sure there's some funny ones if you look them up and you could put it right next to the outline of new jersey i think that would be really cool too so think about things that you could do that's different for this trend. This is trend number one, New Jersey. So for your trend number two here, bestie vibes only, only 272 results. So really low competition. And I like this one because it also has some tags up here. Of course, remember, use only the tags that are relevant to your design, but you got a lot to choose from right here. I also have tags in on my idea board, so you can use those. These are the best selling. So you can see uh, mostly text right here some text with you know heart graphics and some little graphics uh, think about things that you could do that's different maybe add a bigger graphic there's not a lot of those on here so that's one way you could stand out or just make yours different with different colors different kinds of fonts so here's the idea board i made for you guys for besties vibes only here's my 15 product tags you can take a look at those or use the ones that we saw on the other page just make sure that again they match your design that you're coming up with other ideas you can do once you do this bestie vibes only, you could do other friend sayings because those those do really well. Uh, quotes with hearts, you know, like this. Uh, I'm having hearts around here. These are some ideas. And animal friends or food friends. So you can see in the graphics, I put a couple of pictures so that you can see what I'm talking about. Best friends to cupcakes. Best friends to... Uh, you know, milk cartons, uh, you could do a bunch of things, burgers and fries, uh, chicken and waffles, whatever. doesn't have to be food. It could be animals, you know, cat and dog or, or two cool dogs together, whatever it is. Uh, here's some other ideas you can use, you know, script fonts do really well. Hearts, of course, rainbows. There's just two girl best friends and maybe do some graphics around your best vibes only. So things like this or things I really like this idea where it's a heart, the words are inside of a heart and you have graphics to make the heart. So that is your trend number two, bestie vibes only. So for trend number three, teaching is my thing, teacher squad, only 220 results. The thing I like about this one is you can see here, if I type in 
Teaching is my thing is also trending, so both are trending, but I just picked this one because it has a lower competition. Of course, use both of those in your tags, as well as some other tags that I'm gonna show you on the idea board. This one didn't come with tags like the other ones, and that's all right. There's a lot of teacher tags that you can use here, but these are the best selling. Take a look at these. Uh, teaching is my thing. Uh, mostly for teachers, of course. So think of that as your audience. These are things they're gonna wanna wear or thinking about wearing lots of t-shirts, probably wearing it in class while they're teaching. So here's my idea board for teaching is my thing, teacher squad. Here's my 15 product tags right here. Other things you could do with this is, you know, other teacher quotes. Look for that. Teachers is a huge niche or niche, however you wanna say it, but uh, Teaching is a good one. So other ideas as well as thinking about different subjects like science, math, et cetera, you could kind of niche down inside of teaching, you know, uh, science teacher, science quotes, those kinds of things would do well. And homeschooling, homeschooling is huge right now, of course, because of the pandemic and stuff. So uh, do some homeschooling t-shirts as well. Here are some graphics to get you thinking of what to do, you know, different fonts together. Uh, with some graphics that would be good of course apples do really well here's some other graphics that uh, relate to teaching and school teachers rule you know with a ruler this these kind of fonts do really well too like these hand-drawn fonts uh, and text think of your own way to do this make your stand out and do better than what the competition is showing and i think you can do well this is trend number three teaching is my thing teacher squad so for trend number four, I got you this one, embrace your weird, only 224 results. You can see this one has tags at the top, so that's nice. Uh, use the tags that are relevant to your design again. And you don't have to actually put embrace your weird on the t-shirt, I didn't say that before, but I mean, some of these do, but if you did you know, embrace your weirdness or weird weirdo or something like that, you can still use this tag because it's still relevant. You can see this one weirdo still relates. So just make sure that it relates to the tag. You know, don't just draw anything on there. So, so here are the best sellers. You can see mostly text, some graphics. I think if you use a graphic, you can stand out on this one. Here are some graphics, some weird graphics, right? Uh, that people are using. Kind of cool. So here's the idea board I made for you for embrace your weird, the 15 product tags that I would choose right here. You can take a screenshot of that. Other ideas, of course, you could use other weird sayings for that tag. Um, maybe some self-love quotes as well. There's a lot out there to choose from. And maybe some weird mashups. I did some graphics here to show you what I mean. Uh, you know, shark and a horse mashup. These kind of funky creatures mashed up. Uh, pizza with Bananas, that's kind of a weird thing, right? That's a mashup. So think of different things that are weird that could be mashups that you could use this tag with. Uh, here's some graphics. So I was thinking kind of weird fonts that could do really well. You can see here, uh, this totally tubular is using different fonts inside of a font. So let's like the T looks totally different than the Y and so on. Handwritten uh, stuff does, does really well to make it look weird in your design. So embrace your weird is trend number four, have fun with this one. So trend number five for this video, pineapple octopus. I thought this one was really clever, 144 results. So this is another mashup of two things, so pineapple and octopus. Sometimes the pineapple is just on the octopus. Uh, other times it's kind of mixed with the octopus. You can see here, of course, don't use Squidward. He is copyrighted, but you can do you know your own version of a pineapple mashed up with octopus. So here are the best sellers. That's some cute ones on here. You can go cute or you can go, you know, scary. That's another way to do it. So here's the idea board for pineapple octopus, your 15 tags that I thought were relevant. Of course, uh, depending on what you draw, you can use that as well. Uh, other ideas, of course, sea creatures. Once you have octopus, maybe draw another kind of sea creatures. You could do that. Some other fruit mashups. Maybe it's, uh, you know, an apple octopus or something. I don't know why pineapple octopus is trending, but you could mash up some other fruits with other creatures. And then some octopus puns and sayings. There's a lot of them out there. I didn't put them here, but you could look those up and um, they could go well with your octopus that you're drawing. Uh, instead of holding pineapples, you could do you know, an octopus with pun seeing. So here's some graphic ideas. You could do pineapples that are cute or just pineapples, easy graphics of pineapples here, kind of a more of a flat version. 
you know, with faces. Here are some octopuses. Of course, you could do cartoony, way cartoony or more realistic. This one's kind of cool. And then this is just showing you how you could mash it up. The pineapple could be the head or it could be holding pineapples. You know, you could do it in the same color or not the same color. Uh, this could be a really fun one to do. Pineapple octopus is your trend number five. So trend number six is bunny better have my candy. Only 135 results. These are the best selling in this trend. So you can see a lot of just text designs with a little bit of graphics in it. Um, the bunny ears, the hearts, you know, those kinds of things. I think this is one where you can stand out better than the competition here. Think of different ways you can add graphics to stand out or different ways to lay out your design that will stand out. So here's the idea board for Bunny Better Have My Candy, different product tags you could use here. There's a lot of Easter tags out there. Just use the ones that are related to your design. So you can see a lot of mine are, are Easter related. Other funny Easter sayings you could do besides this saying, uh, you could also do things for rabbit lovers. So once you have a drawing of a rabbit, if you're gonna do that, uh, you could do some other rabbit loving designs and Easter candies. There's so many Easter candies out there. So, you know, bunny better have my candy. You could use a lot of candies in that design. So here's some graphics to get you started. Uh, of course, these are just to brainstorm, but different ways to draw bunnies, right? White bunnies, pink bunnies, different candies you could use. Um, so many different candies on here. You know, eggs is probably the one, the go-to, but there's chocolate eggs and different things you could use. And also different ways uh, you can write your bunny better have my candy. You could use a script font like that or, you know, make a bunny bigger in the middle and do some text around it. And of course, eggs do really well too. So bunny better have my candy. Think of different ways to make yours stand out. This is trend number six. So for trend number seven, ice cream fanatic, only 149 results so very low results. Remember, your design doesn't have to say ice cream fanatic in here. So some of these are still relevant, just pictures of ice creams, ice cream chillin', chillin', right? So other words you could do, ice cream sandwich. It doesn't have to say ice cream fanatic to use this tag. So ice cream is a huge niche or niche, of course. So think of different ways to do that. Let's take a look at some of the other best sellers here. You know, ice cream squad, foodie just some cool ice cream designs. So here's some ideas for you. Of course, the 15 product tags all related to ice cream, uh, ice cream lovers, you know, those kinds of things. Other things you could do once you draw your cute ice cream or however you wanna draw your ice cream, you could do ice cream puns and other sayings. It doesn't have to only say ice cream fanatic. Other ice cream types, I have cones here, but there's popsicles and sundaes and other things. Uh, ice cream types, that's what I mean. And animals eating ice cream, I have some ideas here. You know, shark eating ice cream, cat eating ice cream, dog eating ice cream, whatever. Uh, could even be a sloth eating ice cream, panda eating ice cream, you get the idea. And other ways that you can make kind of a mashup of food. Um, we've done this before with the pineapple and octopus. You could do uh, ice cream, you know, mouse or ice cream mousse kind of thing. You can see here some mashups. Think of different ways. You, this one is an ice cream unicorn, right? So uh, you could do mashups as well for this trend. So have fun with this one, ice cream fanatic. This is a, a cool one to do, uh, no pun intended. But if you already have ice cream things, you could tag it with this as well. I think of other ways you can do ice cream designs. So for trend number eight, I have surrounded by balls. You can see only 71 results, so super low competition here. Here are the best-selling ones. Of course, this is for moms uh, who have kids that do sports. So sports moms that, you know, maybe do baseball and soccer and football, all those kinds of things. So surrounded by balls. Also, uh, mom of boys, you get the reference for that one, surrounded by balls. So you can see here, these are some of the ideas. Of course, make yours better than these and stand out. So take a look at this, 15 product tags. I'm just thinking about moms and sports. So you can see kind of a mashup of those in here. Boy, mom, mom quote, those kinds of things. Even volleyball mom, if you're doing one of the balls as volleyballs. Of course, don't do volleyball mom if you're not using a volleyball. 
Uh, some other ideas, you could do mom puns and sayings, you know, sports puns. So you could do family member sports like baseball grandma or basketball dad, that kind of thing. Uh, Here's some graphics of different balls. You know, you got your football, your basketball, um, volleyball, tennis, other kinds of balls here, even billiards. Uh, I think mostly when you when I think sports, baseball, basketball, football, soccer, those those big four right here probably are the ones you want to use. Uh, and I said to think of different ways to do things for moms because I think this is more of a mom shirt, kind of a sports mom shirt. So, you know, script fonts do really well, kind of combining the nice fonts with the um, graphic here does really well. Of course, you can do yours in your own style, but these are just to get you thinking of different ways of designing something for moms to wear or moms to use as stickers. So hopefully these graphics help you brainstorm of something new and different that you can do to stand out from the competition in this trend, which is trend number eight, surrounded by balls. So for trend number nine, I found this Duck Detective, only 76 results. Here are your best sellers. Um, of course, don't do Darkwing Duck or Roger Rabbit or anything from the internet for TV shows. Make sure you're not copying any of these, but you can see there's many different ways where you can mash up a uh, detective with a duck. Let's look at some of these other ones. I think the cartoon style would be really cool, but... You can see mostly t-shirts. I think a sticker would do really well. A detective duck or duck detective. That's a cool mashup. So here are some product tags that I thought would be helpful when you're designing this trend. Some other ideas you could do are other duck puns and other duck mashups. Of course, we're already mashing up a detective with a duck, but you could do, you know, other things. Maybe a pineapple with a duck. I don't know. But you could do other mashups. Uh, animal detectives. You can see here a dog detective, penguin detective that kind of thing. So here's some graphics to help you think of different ways to do this. There's different ways to draw ducks, you know, colorful duck, you know, white duck, yellow duck, those kind of things, and different ways to draw detectives. So I do put that here. There's, you know, with a big magnifying glass is one of them, uh, with a pipe is another way. So think of different ways that you can draw your duck detective to make yours original and stand out, but it also not only has to be original and stand out, but it has to be something people want to buy. So that is your trend number nine, duck detective. Have fun with this one. This is a cool mashup. I, I'm thinking about doing this one as well. So for your last trend here, trend number 10 is butter space. Only 66 results or so super, super low competition. And these are your best sellings. And by the look of the best sellings, I'm thinking this is kind of a mashup between butterflies and space. So you can see here space, but it kind of looks like a butterfly. This as well. Here's some butterflies out in space, right? So think of different ways where you can kind of incorporate space theme and butterfly in there together. So here's the idea board I came up with. 15 product tags, of course, around butterflies and space, kind of a mashup between those. Only use the tags that are related to your design. Of course, if you're not using a monarch butterfly, then don't use that. Here are some other ideas you can do. Other butterfly puns, once you have your butterfly, those could do well. Other animals in space, you know. Well, last time we saw a whale in the sky, it could be a whale in space, that could be cool. Other space patterns, I have some here. So there's many different ways and colors that you could do space, you know, um, blues and pinks and things like that. So I, I found these on the internet for you to think about and not steal, but kind of help you think about better ways to do this butter space design. I really like this kind of tattoo idea. You can see stars. That was a really cool one. Have fun with this one. This is your trend number 10, the last trend for this uh, video. I hope you like it. Butter space, trend number 10. So here's the roundup, all 10 trends together. This is where you can take your snapshot of your to-do list. Some really good big niches here, niches, right? Uh, you got like state niches, teaching is a huge one, um, sea creatures, Easter is another big one that you don't want to miss, uh, ice cream, huge one, um, sports, sports moms, those are, those are big too. Butterflies can be another big one. So um, I'm showing you these trends right here that are trending right now, but they're part of bigger niches so or niches. Um, so you want to think of those as well. So, you know, those can be some evergreen sales for you. You don't have to just do the words that are on the trends. Think of the bigger niche or niche that you can do. So ice cream, you could do a ton of different ice cream things, right? Mom's 
sports moms, those kinds of things, baseball moms, basketball moms. So think of that when you're doing it. Don't just focus into these trends, these specific trends. Also think of the bigger picture, the bigger niche or niche. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. And let me know in the comments uh, some of the other bigger niches or niches that you're doing this month. I'll probably do another video of what to do in March. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and your reward for staying all the way to the end is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for staying to the end for this trend. Here is your trend, Drunky McGee couple shirts. And I know it's really close to St. Patrick's Day, so it might be a little too late for this, but I had to put this in because couple shirts do really well um, for holidays. So you can see here, um, in this case, Drunky McGee, and this says, I'm with Drunky McGee. So somebody will wear this, and whoever's the one that's drinking wears this. Uh, it works for both male and female, I think. So you can see it's in green. The, look at the BSRs. They're like super low. So here on Merch Informer, it's getting an A, so you know it's good. If you don't have Merch Informer, I have a link in the description to Merch Informer. You can pick it up. I think they're having discounts right now, so it'd be great. Uh, great way to check competition and... You know, other things you can see here, other ways to do McGee, uh, Drunky McDrunkerson, pretty cool ideas. So, of course, don't copy those, um, make your own version of those. But uh, again, you don't even have to copy Drunky McGee if you don't want to. Think of different ways to say, I'm with blank and have another uh, funny saying on there too. So uh, that is your trend. Drunky McGee, couple shirt. Think of other couple shirt that you could do for St. Patrick's Day or other holidays. Uh, this could be a fun one. Uh, Valentine's Day already passed. That was another good one to do. Couples t-shirts, but there's you know other things that are coming up too. So thanks so much for watching this video. If this video gave you some value, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can hit that one at the bottom right corner right here to subscribe, that will do well. Um, and as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.